Hi, I'm Maggie from Average Joe's RV Living Club. In January, Joe and I started a 30-day trip down through Baja, California, ending at Loreto in Baja, California, Sur. We're in a convoy of nine RVs led by wagon masters John and Becky Smith and tail gunners Jerry and Kathy of Baja Winters. We traveled in our Ford F-350, pulling our Denali fifth wheel. These videos show our daily adventures in traveling over Mexican highways and dealing with primitive camping conditions. We also hope we're providing valuable tips in safely traveling in Baja. This trip was an epic undertaking for us all. We did not know what to expect in Baja. Luckily, we were in very good hands with Baja Winters. Becky and John pre-qualified every campground and every activity that was scheduled. We never felt unsafe at any time. However, there were surprises and struggles over the course of the journey. From flat tires to three foot deep potholes, unexpected rig damages and wrong turns. We learned the unique techniques to drive safely in Baja from our wagon masters. We also learned how to camp in very primitive conditions and drank way too many margaritas. We are happy to have done this trip and note that these events brought the group close together as we helped each other in times of need. We made many good memories and good friends over the course of our 30 day trip. Finally, I cannot say enough about the people of Mexico, their generosity and friendliness. To find out more about our RV adventures in Baja, California, Mexico, please click on the links below. San Ignacio is a small town in the Mulaje municipality of northern Baja, California, Sur. The Jesuits founded the town and its iconic church in 1728. The church is now the most photographed church in Baja. The town also offers restaurants, an ice cream shop, and some shopping. These paintings are just a reconstruction. To see the real ones, you have to do a three-hour mule ride from Santa Ignacio. Hola. Ice cream. No, man. Oh. Going? You'll be a star, yes. And you'll be a star. And I'm, you'll be a star. Ice cream? Yep. <laughs> Hello, baby. Hello. We were quite nervous before we started this descent, and it turned out not to be as bad as we had imagined. However, there's a nice feature in our Ford F350 which is the ability to shift into manual and use the gears quite easily to slow the vehicle down and that left us not overusing our brakes.
just got to the Sea of Cortez. So there you can see uh, Goliath pulling in in their Class A. Turning around now is Richard and Myrna in, uh, in their little casita. And here's Allison with the uh, little tiny Airstream backing in. And here I come. Now that the rig is parked, Joe and I are going to manually lower the front landing gear. Joe then opens our fifth wheel hitch in order to start the process of unlocking. Now I'm raising the front landing gear to lift the fifth wheel slightly off the hitch. You can see the truck rising as the weight of the Denali is removed. And here's Joe pulling the truck away. Ta-da! Now we engage our LCI 
auto leveling system. The system automatically drops the rear landing gear and then makes the small adjustments necessary to make the rig as level as possible. Success, another successful landing. Now that they're level, we can pull the slides out. I go inside and watch, and Joe stays outside, both of us making sure there's no obstruction or issues. We're also doing a part in the town and take our tow vehicle. And uh, those who want to uh, eat lunch, we'll eat lunch in town at the uh, land. Uh, generator. Okay, the generators, let's not start it from late in the morning. Use it to charge your batteries. Run it. So, like 8 o'clock, that's how it's shipped. Exactly. Do you want to go get us something cold? Lightweight, it's going to have dark skin. So thanks for watching and please help us grow our channel by liking and subscribing. See you next time. See you next time.